Happy Tuesday, everyone. So, uh, people again showed up for a stream that I forgot to cancel or announce anything about. So, I'm really sorry that I <laughs> cancelled the stream two hours late or an hour late. Uh, yeah, serious apologies for that. To prevent <laughs> any future confusion, I've just gone on my Twitch channel and posted that uh, I'm on hiatus until mid-August. Because... I don't think in reality I'll be able to get to stream between now and when I leave for the UK and I don't think I'll be able to stream in the UK. So huge apologies if you turned up for the stream. <sighs> I worked last night until about 4, 4.30 in the morning and today I started work at 10, it's now 12.30. I've made a lot of progress um, and I'm really in the last leg and I, I really do feel like it, it's looking like I can finish this today at least like to 99.5% completion because that last 0.5% is uh, just the last audio mixes and the, the very last, very minor background changes. But those are things out of my jurisdiction. I don't know if that's a word I should pick. But uh, yeah, they're, they're not in my hands. And also I could release it without those being done, but we just want to polish it as much as possible. So of course I want to put them in. But yeah, that's the state it's in. It's looking really good and I'm really happy with it. There were a lot of really surprised people uh, in the comments of my last Draw With Jazza video, which is the update talking about the Tale Teller. Uh, a lot of people were really surprised that eight minutes of animation has taken almost a year to create. So as I've mentioned in a, in a different vlog, um, an animator friend of mine said that an estimate for animation that he and a lot of his animator friends use is that it usually takes one person one month to create one minute of animation. So the Tale Teller is eight minutes long, which would then stand to reason that it takes eight months to produce that animation. And uh, then on top of that, I've created the music, uh, both orchestral and then also the composition. So I had to write the music. I also wrote the Tale Teller itself, which is a poem which is like a four and a half page poem, which is very tricky rhythmically and with rhyme and all this stuff. So it took like a week and a half full time work just to write it. Um, like all this stuff uh, builds up the thing, which made it, you know, rather than being eight months, 10 months. So it's actually been about a 10 month production to create the Tale Teller from start to finish. And today is the last day. That is weird and crazy and very cool. So today what I'm doing is really just adding the very last refinements. So for example, in shots like this, um, changing it so that the skies are animated. So at the moment it's all sort of static. So I'm going to go through and uh, move the clouds, you know, move the flares, things like that. And that's going to really bring everything to life. And in scenes like this, I need to animate the leaves and uh, just add a little bit of wind. It's all really subtle stuff, but that is the stuff that's going to make the world around these characters feel alive. And uh, though it doesn't take a huge amount of time uh, to put in, it definitely makes uh, a huge difference to the outcome. I'm rendering the preview of the thing. It should be an almost finished animation. There's a wild Rob. As you can tell, I'm slowly losing my ability to articulate words and my sanity is decreasing over time. So, Rob was observing before that in the vlogs, it's difficult to communicate the very long periods of time that I spend working on this stuff and in the office because it'll be like one cut and then like seven hours later, it'll be like, it's been seven hours. But Rob's been here for the grind, haven't you, Rob? Not all of it, but a lot of it. Well, not a lot of it. Very small portion of it, but a lot. He observed time. that it is intense. Mm. It is indeed intense. 17 hour work days, good mm. fun. 22. Dollar depending on oh, the day. Oh yeah. <laughs> stupid. I'm stupid, I'm stupid. This is stupid. Stupid, but we're nearly there. So, so Rob's been working yeah. on the app. Some zoom and positioning features for the copy challenge. Still it's a little bit touchy at the moment, but we're getting there. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, such a derpy looking dog. Yay! And I'm uh, doing really, really subtle background effect stuff. So like things like animating leaves. Like this is how intricate I'm getting with this. That does look good. It's like nothing. It's like so subtle. And then there's the uh, wind gradient effects. You can barely see it, but those things laid in will help 
animate the scene and bring it to life. But I'm going to wrap up for the day. I've got to take Rob to the train station and hopefully with any luck we'll have a new build of the app up at least on Android. Tonight. Uh, Tomorrow? Yeah, maybe. To, oh, I don't know. We've got to beta it and stuff. So yeah. at least next week. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, that's it for today. I'll drop off Rob and then I'll come back and do the question of the day. <laughs> yeah, because someone missed one yesterday. No, I didn't. You totally did. Did I? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you did. Frosty's Art asks whether I'm going to VidCon next year or not. I have no idea. It's totally like I have no plans to, but it is one of those things that, as the channel's been working the way it has been going, some of my sponsors sort of do stuff there, uh, and if they want me to do stuff with them, or if we happen to be there at the time, then yeah, we'll definitely go to VidCon. Uh, otherwise, I think that there's VidCon in Australia, uh, or maybe like a fan fest or something, and it's probably more likely that I'll go to one of those. Um, but yeah, I, I have no immediate plans to, but I enjoy them, and wherever the opportunity comes up, I definitely want to go. Well, that's it for today, everybody. Thank you for joining and putting up with my waning sanity. Until tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.